Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Boy Talks Balls. Today we'll be reviewing Carabao Cup action. Let's get into it. So, first match we got today is Chelsea versus Blackburn. Big six team, or were a big six team, against championship team. Obviously, everyone expected Blackburn to go in as favourites. However, Chelsea, the underdogs, won somehow. Team that doesn't score, scored two goals today. In an interesting matchup between two evenly matched teams. Chelsea won 2 0 in the end. So, I didn't watch this match, so I obviously can't comment on how good it was. But I guess this, this little segment of this episode is going to be a bit small because it was a boring match, I think. So, I think Chelsea just beat them, I guess. Just got the job done. Like a hot knife through butter, I guess. So, yeah, Chelsea won that one. Bosh. The next match that we've got on the agenda, I can comment on. I watched this match at home, in the kitchen. Wow, good game. I just a highlight of my day yesterday. West Ham smacking, annihilating a poor Arsenal side. 3-1. West Ham struck three goals... I mean, Mohamed Kudus was absolutely electric. I think I think he'll be one of the signings of the summer. I think he's so good. Mohamed Kudus from Ajax. I mean, he left at the right time. Ajax, they're bottom of the league now or something, aren't they? So, just West Ham. David Moyes' ball seemed to work. What else can I say about that? Jared Bone was on fire. He looked, he, he looked like he had the beating of Ben White every day of the week. And talking to Ben Wan, he scored an own goal, didn't he? Jared Bone obviously scored. Nice volley, but it took a deflection, so can't really call it a brilliant goal. Arsenal just look they just didn't look good at all. I know they were playing a B team, but you shouldn't be getting dismantled by a mid table team like that. Whatever team you play. Poor from Mikel and Setter, but more importantly, poor from Arsenal. The next one the next game that we got is uh, Liverpool versus Bournemouth. This game finished 2-1 to the team you'd expect it to finish to, Liverpool. So, obviously, Cody Gapro scored in around the half-hour mark, I think, to break the deadlock for Liverpool. Then uh, Bournemouth equalised through... I don't know who scored for Bournemouth. I feel like it was Senesi, the centre-back, but I could be wrong there. Um, and Darwizzi, wow. Darwin Nunez, the GOAT. People call him the one, the next Suarez, the next Messi. He is him. What a goal. I mean, that miscontrol before it, obviously, would just draw the, uh, the, gut, the defender out. Liverpool beat Bournemouth like they should have. Not much to say about that. Our fixture that we have for you guys today is Liverpool versus Bournemouth. The Reds visited another team in red all over... I have no idea where Bournemouth are based. Well, they beat them 2-1, as you'd expect. Win goals from Cody back Cody Gakpo, not Backpo, and Darwin Nunez, the GOAT, him. Also, Bournemouth scored. I was Justin Cliver. Uh he's got his dad's better than him, really. Justin Cliver. Uh to equalise after Cody Gakpo's early opener. Then Darwin Nunez provided a, how can I put this, a bit of magic. What a wonderful goal that is. He is that guy. Liverpool beat Bournemouth 2-1. to one. And for the last match that I've got on the agenda today to present to you, my loyal subscribers, is, and before I forget, massive shout out to Tom Savage, we'll also put it in the title, um, the final match is between Newcastle and Manchester United. The repeat of last year's final, and boy oh boy did it go differently. Newcastle opened the scoring following a brilliant run by Tino Livramento, passing to Miggy Almiron. Good goal. Nothing Onana could do. Then, for the second one, falls to Lewis Hall. He scores a nice volley. No one saw that coming. 
bottom of the corner, 2 0. But then for the third one, just as you saw, just as you thought that United might be coming back into it, Chris Willock slots a lovely low foot, low, sorry about this, shots a lovely low shot into the bottom right corner. 3 0, it finished. Wow, different to the 2 0 that we saw last year. Wow, Newcastle looked brilliant, but United look horrendous. Gotta be. Ten Hag out pretty soon. We'll be hearing them shouts. Happy day for Eddie Howe's Magpies. Bad one for the Reds. See you next time on Boy Talks Ball.